Hey, it's OmniDog here with a review of Simpsons Treehouse of Terror Ominous Omnibus Volume 1 Scary Tales and Scarier Tentacles. And the reason it's not put together is because I've bookmarked my favorite parts so we can go over them. And of course, remember to go to Organic Price Books, my code OmniDog for $2 off. 5% off shipping three or more books together with code OmniDog ship it together. Right on, right on, right on. So here's the book. And this part glows in the dark. That's right. The cutout part glows in the dark. And my caveat to this is that you need to be a Simpsons fan if you're going to enjoy this. Um, that may seem like an obvious statement, but <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not a Simpsons fan, you're not going to get it, really. Um, these are all original tales. They were told in the Simpsons comic book, specifically the Treehouse of Terror comic book, um, or, or very, actually in various comics because they give you a very nice... See, they give you a very nice table of contents. So the first one appeared in Hoodoo Voodoo Bruhaha, Treehouse Number no. 5, Spine Tingling spe Spooktacular, uh, Treehouse Number no. 8. So they came from various places, and my understanding is they're going to be doing another one. So um, I, would, uh, I would approach it. Uh, first of all, it's very funny. You have to be a Simpsons fan, though. Otherwise, you're not going to get it. So if you are a Simpsons fan, you're in for a treat because these are genuinely funny. And we'll flip to the back where there is a creator index. And it's really kind of amazing when you see all the various creators. You see Mike and Laura Aldred uh, submitted a story. Alice Cooper down here from Motorhead. Lemmy, he did a story. Um Dan Brereton, Evan Dorkin, uh, Paul Dini, Patton Oswalt, Eric Powell, uh, John Severin, Mark Schultz, Stan Sakai, Jill Thompson. I mean, it's full of Jeff Smith, Gail Simone, and it tells you where their particular stories are. So what I'll do is show you the first part of the book. And of course, Kang and Kodos feature heavily in a lot of these stories. And it turns out one of them is uh, the sister. I can't remember if it's Kang or Kodos, but, and I don't know if they're both sisters or if they're brother and sister, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is cool. This is by um, Jeff Darrow, I think. Um, as you can tell by, yeah, some of these are very Darrow-esque. And there's a lot of cool interstitial scenes between the stories. So some of it's very Simpsons-like, some of these stories. And the stories are all at least, well, here's Homer doing typical Homer. The stories are all worth reading. That's the most important part. They range from very good to laugh out loud funny. So here's, you get it. The, yeah, this still looks like pretty much the art. And then you'll be getting some artist's interpretation of The Simpsons, like this one. The art's a little bit different, so let's see, who did this one? Doug Tenapal was the writer and the artist. I enjoyed it. I don't, I don't mind that the Simpsons are interpreted differently, but I'm showing you so you can make your judgment. Uh, what I care about is how funny it is and if the writing's good and is funny. So that's really all I care about. And here we have some more. <laughs> and Professor Frank is in a lot of them too, and it's great. Oh, hey, duty. So see, here you can see another artist's interpretation. <laughs> Linus is in it, some kind of a Linus-type creature. Uh, and they're, 
separated into different um, different sections. Here we get Trick or Terror, Comic Book Guys, Best Costumes Ever, Part 1. He has like five or six of these. This one's story and art by Sergio Aragona, so you can tell right away. The famous Mad uh, Illustrator and Gru Illustrator, he does these. So let me tell you my favorite ones in the book. We'll go to the first bookmark. <laughs> this was great because it's by Pat Boone. Pat Boone, the famous Christian singer, uh, very white bread, wholesome guy. <laughs> he's he's written a Simpson story. And it's a scareway to heaven. It's actually pretty funny. Uh, so I give credit to Pat Boone. He also did a cover. Uh, he, he did an album a long time ago of Metallica covers and Metallica loved it. And so Pat Boone's a okay with, with me because these this is a good story. He didn't draw draw it. It is art is by C. Scott Morse. So this is one of the ones that I dug because by Pat Boone. Oh, and now this is one of my favorite ones, The Legend of Batterface. This is by Alice Cooper. This is one of the better stories in the book. It involves all the kids, all the grown-ups in the Simpsons world, little Apu, little Homer, little Smithers, little Mo, as they're gathering around it, uh, little Sideshow Mel. Um, they're at summer camp, and Homer can't get enough of donuts and so of course so they trick him they pr play a prank on him and he ends up being uh called the legend of Batterface, who comes back to uh well i don't want to spoil it from you but this is Batterface <laughs> in his incarnation very funny alice cooper did a really funny job on this one and the next one is by Eric Powell, writer of The Goon and other books. This is a kind of a goofy story. It's got very much uh, Eric Powell's kind of signature drawing. Eric Powell is uh, one of the funniest writers, I think, in comics. The Goon is just sharp as a tack as far as its comedy. And it involves Willie sending away for a bride and ending up getting an emu instead. And hijinks ensue, involving Homer, of course. Uh, then this one is by... Wait, let me make sure I have... Did I get... Yeah, I did get my favorite. This one's by Lemmy from, from Metal... Uh, not Metallica, Motorhead. Uh, and so you do get, as I say, a bunch of these things in between the stories that are a lot of fun. Homer goes to hell. Lemmy Kilmeister story. And Tom Payer wrote the script. Uh, hats off to the late great Lemmy for doing, and he appears in the book with uh, a couple of the other guys from the whatever the current version of Motorhead was. Here's Lemmy. It's great. I just, I think that is just such a great touch that Lemmy wrote a Simpsons story. It's awesome. And then my favorite story, I saved for last Planet of the Apus. That's an ad for. VH, for a VHS and store security tape. Here's Springfield in Hell. Uh, my favorite story is by Dan Brereton, who uh, has written Nocturnal and a few other things, of course. Um, oh, Ian Boothby did the story. Oh, and, and Dan Brereton. They both combined to do the story. Uh, Ring Around the Simpsons. It's a parody on Lord of the Rings. And... Ian Boothby and Dan Brereton do a really good job on this uh, parody of Lord of the Rings. I found it really inventive and creative, genuinely funny. Uh, it was my favorite story in the book. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't want to spoil it, so I don't know if I want to do... Okay, we'll skip. This was my favorite story in the book, though. And it's really well done. So here's Bart and Stormy Night, where I believe he shows up as Bartman. Yeah. So th this book, I loved. I think any uh, Simpsons fan would love it. All Simpsons fans would really dig this book. It's in the same type of uh, vein as The Simpsons, 
which is making fun of everybody and everything all the time. Here's a parody of Ray Bradbury's Illustrated Man that was really good by Batten Lash. So I highly recommend Spring... Let's put it in the case so you can see what it looks like. And unfortunately, I can't get to the lights right now or I'd show you that it glows in the dark. There you go. The Treehouse of Horror, Simpsons Treehouse of Horror, Ominous Omnibus. And it's not very expensive. It's actually a pretty good deal. $40 list price. You can get it cheaper, of course, at uh, Organic Price Books, where you can use my code OmniDog for $2 off. Peace and love. Peace and love. Thank you for watching this overview and review. Feel free to leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Peace and love. Peace and love. Thank you to my viewers. You guys are awesome.